Hey everybody, this is Jeff here once again, bringing you another video update on the progress of my 1350th TOS Enterprise. And so far what we have is nearly completed secondary hull and saucer pylon, aka neck. Over here we've got the shuttle bay, got light blocking done on it on the cracks and everything. It wasn't very much uh, that I really had to do. It was mainly over here on this scene where there was a bit of light leak and then back here along the back of it. But just went ahead and took care of it everywhere just to make 120% sure that it wasn't going to have any issues. And I've hooked it up, you know, had it set inside of the hole and everything and actually turned out to be so. You know, there's no light lease coming in whatsoever, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, shuttle bed is still looking good, uh, as it always has been since I finished it. Uh, and as far as the engineering hole goes, uh, I've got lights affected on the inside of that. As you can see there at the front, we've got uh, three lights right there, and then we have six at the back. It's the same on the other side. And then on the rear, I use this one because uh, we have the additional lighting that will light up the fantail. Uh, there's that piece right there. Prime it up and ready to go actually. It just got a little bit of light sanding with some fine grit sandpaper and then I'll be ready to go ahead and paint it the uh, hull color so that piece will actually just be finished and then I can pull the mask off once that dries uh, completely and then go ahead and get the colors that go on the inside. I have that those parts masked off right there because this is the opaque part. I didn't get the lighting kit that comes with the clear pieces. And right here it's the same thing with the fantail. Just some light sanding. Very, very light sanding because they turned out very, very smooth with the primer uh, with the primer coats and everything and there are no light leaks with this at all. Um, of course there's one along the bit along the top once it's sitting on the inside up here due to the fit but you know that'd be taken care of once I got the ship together so and I got that uh, piece right there is masked off as well for that control room and as you can see here on the shuttle bay doors see if I can get that to clear up for us but uh, as you can see there I had taken out quite a few you know uh, there were two doors on either side that were being displayed there as far as the openness goes and I opened it up I took out one of the doors on both sides because you know I wanted it to really really be open so when it's sitting there and get this get this sitting up in here for you if I can do this uh, let me set this down real quick There we go. Now, so you can see here, like I said, I wanted it to really, really be open when you look inside of that shuttle bay uh, with the doors open and everything. So, uh, really, really worked that well. So, you can see there on the top, there's the light bulb that would be up there. That was once a five millimeter light bulb. It has been well ground, ground down uh, using the uh, same tool on the Dremel to that size right there see if we can get some more clarity to come in there we go and you know it fits rather well and I've you know of course like I said I dry fitted everything together and it uh, sits up there rather well so it's nice and ready to go and with that because this right here is so you know flat and so close to the roof what I actually wound up having to do as far as the resistor I had to put the resistor on the line uh, further back it's actually right there uh, and it's a 2.2K resistor because I didn't want that light to be just that bright once it's shining through there. So, um, you know, so there goes the progress with that heat shrinking on all of the wiring and everything. And then that running together uh, once it's connected, you know, come up through here and give me a nice hookup right there. Want to show what's going on with the back back here. Uh, what I had to do and. You know, first off, I'll talk about the lighting. Then I go through the what I had to do to get that shuttle bay to fit. Uh, you know, I have a light strip right here. I have two lights on the roof, and then one light back here. Now I have that on both sides, and what that one, what that does is it beams light right back here on the back of the shuttle bay and as you can see there there's that one red piece right there that I uh, painted with some uh, clear red testers clear red 
um, well, Model Master Clear Red uh, body testers, and what it does is when the light's shining down on that, it casts a little bit of red light back there on the front of that bay, on uh, the front of that door back there, uh, in the middle, underneath those four control room windows, right behind the shuttlecraft. Uh, when the ships lit up and everything, you can see it actually pretty good. Um, it doesn't turn out so well on camera. I noted. I noticed, but you can see it. You know, a hint of it and everything. And then, of course, if you block out the roof lighting, you can see it really well. But it looks really, really cool. Thought they'd give just a little bit of extra um, inside of the shuttle bay. You know, it's the only interior space on this ship that I'm gonna have. So, and. As far as the fit goes on this shuttle bay, as you can see back here, I had to take out nearly everything to get this shuttle bay to go. Lower that down right here along the edge. I had to carve pretty much all of that out of there. Um, doesn't help that you have this piece right here for the ion pod that sits right up in there. It's, you know, kind of tall, but not just too tall. And, uh, you know, there are... You know, you have those spots right there that are kind of cut into the floor of the bay in order for that to fit and go around it. So, you know, it's pretty cool. I actually had to tell you, there was a little ledge on the bottom of the uh, shuttle bay itself. I had to take that off as well. Uh, and then, you know, up on the roof, you know, I had to just, car. you see just how thin that is how thin that is compared to the rest of it and everything uh, you know looking if you look right here you know that's the that was the thickness that this was going all the way but I had to call, take all of that out and I'm probably not just you know totally completed just yet along with you know taking in the uh, sides of the shuttle bay itself to actually make it smaller room wise and everything so that it would fit better but that did help as far as me being able to get the light strips up there on the top so that I have the lighting coming through the top on those windows the way that they're uh, the way it's supposed to be and that looks really really cool I'll show you that here in a second and right here I have a three millimeter light bulb which is well ground down uh, to fit and make sure it's not block hitting you know the backs of the uh, back walls on this shuttle bay so that everything fit I wanted everything to fit and it gives uh, nice lighting to these windows back here pretty much all you know all of them are lit of course they're not as bright as these right here but hopefully after a little bit of work I'll be able to get them just a little bit brighter just a little bit brighter so but all of the lighting is inside of the secondary hall I uh, just have the ion pot lighting to put in and get that installed and run the cords up they'll go through the neck and connect to the board that will be up there in the saucer section for for those to blink so and here's the neck of course and it's you know completed besides being put together and sand it and then windows masked off and then prime and paint it uh, as you can see it only took two light strips to get that lit up and it's lit up very very bright it looks very very good I like it a whole lot you know all of the windows just look really really cool on this and give me just one second here what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, hook the you know, get the wiring hooked up first in the uh, saucer pylon here in the neck and then we'll do the engineering section so give me just one second while I get that set up here for you all right and here we go with the neck got that wired up and everything as you can see like I said those two strips of lighting are providing Ugh, if I can get it, it's kind of attached itself down here. Here we go. Now, as you can see, it is providing more than enough lighting coming through those windows. And I mean, it's just so bright and everything. It's ridiculous. And of course, you know, if it's that way on both sides. Uh, but it's looking very, very good. I like it a whole lot. Now, you know, of course, like I said, just have to get it, uh, you know, get the windows masked off and everything, then prime to paint it. And also as well on these windows, I'm going to go through and do some frosting on the inside of those as well. Because even though you really can't see it here on camera, I don't know if it will if I was to get just right up on it or not. I was trying to check and see whenever I move it from side to side, of course, I can see right through those windows because they are so clear uh, that, you know, it doesn't. 
I mean, you can see right through the ship itself. So, and of course, it's not supposed to be that way. Can't, it's, it's, it doesn't pick up on the camera, but it, I can definitely see it there. So, uh, have to go through and get that corrected. So, um, but give me just another moment here, and I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, shuttle bay mocked up here inside of the engineering hole so we can see what that looks like and also the windows on the engineering hole so be just another moment okay guys uh let me see it took me a little bit of time actually but it was like 0.5 of a second for you but uh what i've done here is i've got this engineering hole mocked up and everything so you look down at belly of the beast and you can look in there and see all the lighting up in there it looks nice you know very very bright look kind of reminds you of a sterile hospital or something so uh but it's very very cool and everything i just went ahead and got it mocked up here on this uh base as well uh, but you know like you see like i was saying you know all of these windows are showing through nice and clear uh these windows on the back here like i said i'm gonna try to do it's a little bit more try to get those uh showing a little bit better and everything but you know as they are you know still getting some light coming down through there and that's without using clear pieces with the lighting kit uh so you know it's a little extra work and i tell you the shuttle bay is the hardest room is the hardest thing on this model kit to get to get working right and everything and stuff so painting it up was nice and fun um especially with all the differences that i've got on mine versus what's actually supposed to be there but uh you know getting it fitting into the ship especially if you don't have the uh, clear pieces and even those i'm told are still just a little bit of work and everything and stuff so but you know the lighting is nice and bright and everything and the shuttle bay is looking uh very very good and everything like i said you know with the shuttle bay doors and everything is uh looking quite the part and then with the control room right there and like i say you know right up above it that wind up you know once i would get everything pushed up in there and glued that would be reduced just a little bit and then um you know just a little bit of scene work to do and trying to look back here before i run out of time uh see if i can block off these windows so you can actually see that red light back there and let me see here if we can get over in there let me come up underneath here and see if that'll help us out some tilt just a little bit i don't know i know it came, i know it came through every once in a while and stuff oh there we go a little bit if you can see behind that shuttle bay you got that little bit of lighting that's going on back there that was the effect that i was wanting to go through with that so and of course on the camera it's all gone away but trust me it is there so and it looks very very cool and that shuttle bay is looking good this model kit's just looking cool and everything uh so but that's the update that i have for you right now on this build process uh keep watching back for more uh, hopefully next coming up I'll have the uh, one of the warp nacelles completed and everything I'm working to try and light mine as well and also with just a little bit of added extra on that as well so you know those of you who've got this kit you would know what this is those of you who like Star Trek you would know what this is and what part that may possibly replace so again those of you out there building models keep on building this is Jeff again and I will talk to you guys later have a good weekend.